Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to give a review of the IKEA Smart Plug and uh, Smart uh, Button combo. Um, and actually, I have uh, more Smart Plug in here. Um, so in this video, I want to show you how to get them installed, connected, and also I will give a review. So let's first talk about the why I need this. Uh, so in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I'm planning to replace all the light switches of my house with a smart switch. Uh, most of the light switches in my house, they have a neutral wires. Uh, so for with the neutral wire, I replace them with a TP-Link smart switch. It's pretty easy, straightforward. I had some previous video mentioned talking about how to use TP-Link switch. Uh, however, there are two switches in my house that somehow do not have a neutral wire. Um, one is in the unfinished side of the basement, which is where I am now. Another is in our laundry room. So I had a really hard time trying to find solution for these two places. Um, here in the, my basement, if you check some of my previous videos, you probably saw, uh, saw that I tried to use a GE three wire smart switch, which do not require neutral wire. Um, the switch itself is not working very well. The app is not working, so I, I gave up on GE. Um, and then I tried Lutron switch. Um, uh, that's uh, another brand that's famous for not requiring neutral wire. So the switch itself is good and I, I like it. But then the problem is um, uh, the light I'm controlling is actually fluorescent light. And um, those lights are not meant to be dimmed. Uh, if you know, um, most of the smart switches, if they do not require neutral wire, um, like a neutron or like Lutron or GE, uh, the technology behind it is it's actually a dimmer switch. Um, because the switch itself requires power, power always. That's why uh, you see most of smart switch require neutral wire because it needs a neutral wire to provide the power. When you do not provide neutral wire, um, the those switch, they actually just um, gonna keep the switch on, uh, connected always so that the switch itself will have power uh, so that it can listen to your command. And then when you need to turn the light off, uh, what the switch is doing is it will just dim it all the way down so that it's dark enough that uh, you can't really see the light and the light looks like it's off, but in reality it's actually on always. So it's a dimming process. And then for the fluorescent light, it's really not designed to be dimmed. And uh, I just uh, realized that uh, when, I, when I start to use this Lutron switch, uh, I'm about to break the, the light bulbs. So um, now um, what I'm going to do here is another thing I noticed, uh, if you take a look at my light in there, is uh, I actually realized these lights, they are actually plugged into an outlet. So in reality, the switch I'm trying to replace is actually an outlet switch. It's controlling an outlet. Um, then I got a new idea. I can actually just buy some smart plug in there. Then my light becomes smart and I can control them through Alexa. I can group them together. Um, now another problem is um, um, I, I don't want to turn on, uh, turn on turn on the light on and off just using Alexa because sometimes I still want to have a simple uh, physical switch in there, right? So basically, I need a a smart button that control that can control the smart outlet. Uh, it's like a combo in there. So uh, currently in the market, um, I think there are only two brands that provide you um, both a smart button and a smart outlet. IKEA is one of them and the Philip Hill, that's another. Philip is more expensive, that's the reason I chose IKEA. Uh, there are some other brands, for example, TP-Link, they provide um, outlet, uh, they provide a smart plug, but then they don't have smart button. Um, and then the problem is I actually tried the TP-Link smart plug uh, and I couldn't find a smart button that works because uh, 
um, you actually cannot integrate the smart button in, in Alexa. For example, if you buy the smart button from IKEA and if you try to use this button to uh, control something through Alexa to another brand of smart plug, Alexa do not give you that option. So uh, the only situ chance you I have is really I need to buy the same brand that provide both the uh, smart plug and the smart uh, uh, button in there. So, um, all right, uh, now let's uh, take a look and see how they works. So I think first I'm gonna do is um, I will just simply plug this uh, smart plug um, in there and uh, I will take a look at the manual to see how to get them connected. All right, you can see I plug the smart plug in. Uh, it's controlling the light now. And then the smart button that comes with it, um, it, it actually, uh, they are automatically connected already. So as you can see, I can just uh, push the button. Now the light is off. I push it again. Now the light is on. Um, now next, what I'm going to do is uh, I will start to connect the smart plug into the IKEA app. Uh, so to do that, you actually need the IKEA hub, which are, I already have because I use uh, IKEA Smart Blind, um, uh, but if you do not, that's actually some uh, extra cost in there. Um, all right, let me show you how to do it. All right, now I'm going to show you uh, how to get everything connected. Um, so the way most of the IKEA Smart products work is um, you usually first need to connect the remote to the hub. Uh, then you connect your device to the remote. That's how they synchronize together. Um, now, so the first thing is uh, I'm going to try to add a new device. Um, you cannot start, you cannot just uh, start to connect the outlet uh, before the switch is connected. Oh, it's actually this one, on off switch dimmer. Yeah, it's with this one. Open the back of the, yep. Quickly press the button inside the on off switch four times uh, to reset it after. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. And uh, wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Next, hold the on switch within two centimeter of the, of the gateway. Press um, and hold until um, the light on good for four times. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna have it. This is my hop, by the way. So I will um, press and hold. All right, now see my app, it says device find. Please wait a moment for confirmation. So it's trying to connect. All right, let's see, oh, perfect. The on off switch is now connected. Uh, okay, I'm gonna rename because this is my basement. Um, I'll call this uh, unfinished side lights. Okay. Um, all right, sounds good. Now I'm going to start to connect this switch to the outlet. Uh, so to add an outlet, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Setting, add a new device. Uh, I want to add a new outlet. Um, plug in your outlet and uh, choose the control device you're using. This is the one I'm using. 
and see that uh, it tells you remember to use a control device that is already connected to the gateway, which we already did. On off switch, and um, so I'm just gonna hold this very close to the outlet for at least ten second. Um, all right, so this is my outlet. By the way, um. So you may find out the setup is kind of funny here because uh, I have two light fixture uh, connecting to uh, the box here. There are two outlets in there, but then they are just too close to each other. And then this smart plug is kind of big and uh, it I can't fit two of them side by side. So instead, I just have to use one and then I have to put a um, like surge protector or power strip in here to so that i have um like one smart outlet actually controlling two light fixtures um so anyway um i'm gonna hold them very close to each other and for at least 10 seconds all right now if you look at my app it said device find it's it's gonna try to connect my outlet to the app Outlet find perfect. Um, I'm gonna name it. Oh God, basement one. Okay. All right. All right. So this is another smart um, plug in the basement because I together I have three light fixtures. Um, and uh, as I showed you, I have one outlet controlling two lights, and then this is the uh, last one in there. So now I just need to add uh, the last outlet to my app using the same uh, remote, so that in the end, uh, I actually use the same remote controlling all three lights together. So I'll add, add new devices. I'm going to add outlet. Um, this is switch I'm using, and uh, same drill. All right, you can see my app is saying device find. All right, I'm gonna remake, rename it. All right, I'm gonna call it a basement two. Ooh. All right, um, now I think this is a good angle to show um, all the three lights in there. You can't really see the third one, it's kind of the other side of the duct, um, but then you should be able to see the, the brightness of, of the light. So I got all three lights connected. Um, I actually only use the two outlets because of um, this situation in here. But then you can see that I can use my remote now to turn them off. You can't really see anything. It's very dark. And then turn them on. And then I can do the same thing from my app. Uh, I can turn them off. I can turn them on. And then I can also um, connect them to my Alexa and group this with uh, the rest of my smart switches in my basement into a basement group so that I can turn off everything together. Uh, I think I really like it. Um, I think for the next step, what I'm going to do is uh, I will just um, probably put the switch in here. And then for my old style switch, since I'm going to use a plug, I'll just tape it over so that it's on always. And I'm going to maybe I'll put it here just to start to use the smart button in here. Um, all right, um, uh, thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you find it helpful. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.